So, without further ado, please welcome Danny K. Dan. Check, 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 check. How you guys doing? All right, we're gonna end the show off on a, a very high note. Uh, can I, can I bring people down to the stage? Let's get up. Let's get up. Let's get up. Everybody, come on down here. Let's do it. Up in the back. Let's go. Everybody up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Up to the front. Right here. Right here. Right here. Let's do it. Everybody, come on up. Right here. Right here. Give me some high fives. Let's do it. Give me some high fives. High fives. High fives. Scoot in, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Korean people in the house! Oh, that is adorable. What up, what up? Don't act, don't act like cool Asians. I know cool Asians when I see them. Sitting in the back. Sitting in the back. All right, let's move in, let's move in, let's move in, let's move in. We got people squeezed in. Let's move in, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's move in right here. Let's move in right here. <laughs> let's move in, let's move in, until everybody's up. Let's scoot in right here, there's plenty of space right here, those people are squeezed. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's not hurt that kid though. <laughs> he's tiny, he's a tiny person. He's half, the, he's, he's, he's a fourth of the size of all of you. What? So cute. Nice, this feels pretty good, right? Who's ready to party? Make some noise! Make some noise on this side! I'm currently on this tour. I just came from Boston. Uh, I was in Texas. And um, now this is my first time in Rhode Island. This is awesome. I saw, um, I went to one of your many cafes. Uh, I, had, I had some tea. It was pretty good. Um, but no, I'm really happy to be here. Thank you guys so much. And uh, let's have a good time, right? 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 right. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! All right, let's play that first song.
That's awesome. This is probably the funnest show that I've done in a long time. Oh, sorry. This is awesome. You guys feeling good? Can I take a little moment to drink water? Is that cool? Don't shake your head at me. No, I'm not, not going to drink water for like as long as I want. Uh, California's a bit... Oh. That's horrible. California, I'm from LA. Anybody here from LA? We're from the West Coast. Anybody from the West Coast? I don't know if you guys heard, but California's currently in an awful drought. We're in a horrible drought. We, it's actually a pretty serious thing. They just, it's a state of emergency. They're gonna, um, they're gonna ration our water like a lot. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drink all of Rhode Island's water. I'm taking it all with me, starting with this. Nobody should applaud. Nobody should applaud me putting up water in the sky. That's a stupid thing for me to do. I'm just gonna let that take a sec. You would get way more applause than me. Tiny high five. Uh, okay, so this next song, uh, they announced, um, I put out a documentary of Adopted. Any other adoptees in the house? Yeah? Uh, I'm, I'm a Korean adoptee, so, uh, I was raised in Southern California, um, and I recently met my biological family, which is crazy. Um, but I also found out that I had an identical twin brother that I never knew about, which is crazy. Uh, you guys can watch it all online, it's all on ICA TV. Would love if you guys found it, watched it, spread the good word. Uh, ultimately, it's the state, it's, it's, uh, I feel like as Asian Americans, uh, as Korean Americans, that we have very little content that represents us. And uh, for me, it was really important to be able to develop content that related to the adoptee experience. And um, ultimately, it's, it's, it's just about families. And I feel like that uh, within Korean culture, family's very, very, not, well, within every culture, it's important. But um, now that I found out like who my parents are, though, I definitely feel a lot more Korean. Uh, before, I was all about just saying that I'm Asian American. I never really identified as Korean American. Uh, but now that I've met them, I definitely say that like I'm, I'm Korean American. And I feel a lot more Korean now. Um, Anyway, so this next song is about that. It's called Is There Anybody Out There? And it features Clara C, who came last year. And um, uh, it's about three things. It's about, uh, the first verse is about being adopted and wondering if there's other people out there that feel like, feel like me. The second verse is about like, just us as human beings, whether or not, is there anybody out there that we can really connect with? I feel like that we're all just racing around, technology ruining us, Instagram this, Snapchat that. It's all awful. Um, and uh, the third verse, by the way, I'm on Snapchat. Find me now. <laughs> Dan, aka Dan TV, add me. And then, uh, third verse is about God, whether or not God exists, whether or not if there's anybody who's literally watching over us. And um, it's just me exploring those issues. So let's play the song.
anybody who's watching over? I believe in God, but I question as I get older. Will my burdens be shoulder? Can I remain a soldier? Between doing what is right sometimes and what I know is colder. And it's a scary proposition between myself and this vision. When I can even trust myself with simple moral decisions. I know it's wrong for me to question or even try to test you. But it's hard sometimes when I stare at myself in this restroom. That's why can I be open? Can I say I took it for granted? Or what can be offered in life? This is my time to be candid. Never mind, I'll just get faded. Besides, thinking is overrated. And I just want to escape some Sometimes than to face what I've created. So tell me, is there anybody out that you know without a doubt can explain to me all this and what life is all about? To so live or live without, we're wondering what is out. So it always asks me asking, is there anybody out there? Yeah. Awesome. All right, next song. Oh wait, 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 actually, wait. Buzz the song. All right, so the song. Can you guys count? Who's who's really good at counting? Raise your hand if you're like the most amazing counter. You're like A plus, like you guys all go to Brown University, but let's be honest, some people can't count, which is fine. Oh, probably, all right. Count, count to three. One, two, three. Uh, I didn't drop the mic, it's fine. I was very conscious of that. Anyway, so, um, you, you count to three, that's basically it. Just be ready for the counting. You'll know when I get there. All right, let's play. Get your hands up, let's wiggle back and forth. Hey, hey. When I was younger, I was feeling just like you. Just trying to find two people in this world who wouldn't ever defy you. I'm here to rock. You never have to walk by. Take this off as a sign. You just have to come follow me. What I thought there was it.
time. This is, this is great. What? Huh? Drink the water, it's free or clean? Thanks. This guy, what's your name? What's your name? On, on to save my life. I was about to keep on drinking this water, it could've been dirty, but on confirmed that your water's clean. So thank you. Everybody make some noise for Han. I got saved my life. Uh, okay, so this next song I'm gonna do, um, it's, uh, I'm also currently, I'm gonna put out a new album sometime soon, and so I wanted to try out some new material. Is that cool? Uh, although it probably will a lot of you all is this new material, which is fine. But um, this next song is special to me because I got asked by a friend to uh, write a song or like play his wedding, which is a really cool thing because it's such like an intimate thing for your friend to ask you to do. And uh, I was really into the idea, but the problem is, is I've got zero romantic songs. All of my songs are like really like not the negative against romance, but they're just like they're like more like depressing kinds of songs about because that's what you, that's, that's what's easy to write. Let's be honest. Um, so I took that as a challenge though, and I really wanted to write a song for him. Um, and so I, I had the song ready, uh, but unfortunately, like I, just, I didn't have it completely done by the time the wedding came around, and so I couldn't perform it. But I did end up having this really great song that I wanted to put out there, and then it ultimately spurred me wanting to put out a new album. So um, you guys watch How I Met Your Mother? Yeah. You watch How I Met Your Mother? Nope. No rapper alive is going to talk about how How I Met Your Mother inspired him, but. I'm about to do that. So, uh, you guys know Stella and How I Met Your Mother? Yeah. yeah. All right. So the song, like, there's a moment where uh, we're telling Stella. Those who haven't seen the show, one, watch the show because it's good. Uh, but two, just a picture in your head. Uh, so, so Ted and Stella are in the car, and um, and it's after they had already broken up, and Stella is telling Ted that eventually he's going to meet somebody. And she's coming as fast as she can to like come meet up, but it's just it's, it's all about patience. So this next song is called "As Fast as She Can," and uh, it's about patience. All right. <laughs> Yeah, this is all I got on my mind. You can be my last, so suck and be a sword. I'm 
So this next song will take a little bit of audience participation too. Um, you guys are good at counting, but are you good at repeating stuff? Uh, all right, so I'm gonna say, uh, I put out a music video for this a little bit ago, if anybody's seen it. Uh, it's called Until, and uh, I'm gonna go until, until we get there, and then you guys say, until, until we get there. Cool? All right, until, until we get there. 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 All right, let's do it. All right, let's play. Until, until we get there. 